In this video, I am going to explain functional relationship between pec minor and serratus anterior. Pec minor and serratus anterior. These are both shoulder girdle muscles. Okay, let me do a quick review for both muscles. What is origin and insertion of pec minor? That is rib 3 through 5 and coracoid process. Coracoid process. So it's running like this. Now let's go to origin and insertion of serratus anterior. Origin is rib 1 through rib 9. Rib 1 through 9. Insertion is anterior part of medial border of scapula. However, in this picture, you don't see its insertion clearly, so let me change picture. This is posterior view. This part is origin. Rib 1 through 9. It runs like this way, this way, this way, and it attaches to anterior part of medial border. See, you don't see serratus anterior fiber on scapula. That means muscle fiber goes anterior part of scapula. Let's see its relationship. It's like this. See, scapula is gone. Imagine scapula is like this. You see fiber of serratus anterior. It attaches to anterior part of scapula. Anterior part of scapula. This is kind of rare. There are not many muscles that attach on anterior part. There are two muscles, serratus anterior and subscapularis. Subscapularis, which is part of rotator cuff. Anyway, Serratus anterior attaches to anterior part of medial border. Let's go back to previous picture. See? Now let me talk about function of serratus anterior. There are two functions. They are abduction of scapula. Abduction of scapula, not an abduction of shoulder. They are different movement abduction of scapula plus upward rotation of scapula upward rotation which is kind of this movement scapula moves to this direction this is upward rotation serratus anterior abduction of scapula and upward rotation now let's go to function of pec minor so what are functions of pec minor? There are various functions that pec minor can do. But let me talk about two functions. They are abduction. Abduction of scapula plus downward rotation. These two are functions what I'm going to talk about is pec minor, abduction, and downward rotation. Do you remember two functions of serratus anterior? Abduction and upward rotation. What happens when these two muscles contract together? Do you imagine that? So, function of pec minor is abduction plus downward rotation. Serratus anterior, abduction and upward rotation. When these two muscles work together, let's see, downward rotation and upward rotation kind of cancel out. It's like a mathematic equation. You know, these are opposite movements, so they're kind of cancels out each other. So what are there? What's left? 
there is abduction and abduction yay when these two muscles work together they bring scapula to abduction this is very very important so when one of these muscles or both of these muscles get tight scapula cannot move very well you know what if one muscle is too strong maybe this biomechanics is aggravated now what's gonna happen scapula cannot move very well scapular abduction is very very important for throwing movement overhead sports movement like a volleyball badminton and tennis you know, these kind of sports movement of abduction is so so important again one of two muscles or both muscles get tight biomechanics of scapula is aggravated why is movement of scapula so important because when your scapula does not move your shoulder cannot move very well so relationship of movement of scapula and movement of shoulder is strongly connected now movement of these two muscles are also important of course other muscles can aggravate movement of scapula and shoulder but i personally focus on these two muscles a lot when i work on these two muscles many times people's range of motion of scapula and shoulder joint increase many times so i love these two muscles if you liked today's video please hit the like button comment and subscribe see you next video